Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. It is 20, to, 20 minutes to 1 in the morning slash night, whatever you want to say. But I'm trying to be quiet because everybody is like asleep and I have not done a voiceover in a very long time. So I'm a little nervous, even though like it's nothing weird as I say it all the time when I take a long break from doing voiceovers. I just get nervous. It's really weird and I hate it, but whatever, I'm back. So hello, I hope you're doing good. But it has been nearly two weeks since my last video. I've just been busy. I went on a small holiday with my family like a couple of days ago. I'm only back a couple of days and it was amazing. It was really good just to have a nice little break from everything, I guess, and just relax and not even worry about it. I was supposed to do a video. This video was supposed to go out last Saturday from when you're seeing it and I just wasn't ready. I just didn't have a voiceover done, didn't have time to do a voiceover. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll just say that I don't have a video ready. Not say that I don't have a video ready, but just, you know what I mean? I don't have time to do a voiceover. I'm literally gonna, I was gonna be leaving the day, like the next day and I still had to pack. So that's not great. It was, it was my fault. I just should have planned things out better, but whatever. It was fine. I just said basically didn't have a video and I don't want to stress myself out about it. So I'm going to just not do a video. And that's what I did. And I'm glad I did it. I'm, you know, I'm happier about it. And you now have this video to see tomorrow, Saturday. So that'll be lovely. And I hope you enjoy it. It is called Blackberry Stables. It is beautiful. In a comment on a recent video where I was saying how you guys can send me messages of pictures of houses or whatever that you would like me to build or anything like that uses inspiration, whatever. And I got asked to do kind of more of a ranch style home. I hope this is what you want. If it's not, I apologize. But it's still, I really like it. It's still a nice house. But um, in my head, ranch style home, like you said like ranch desert, I believe. I don't remember who said it as well. I'm sorry. I don't remember. But ranch or desert style home. So this is kind of what I had in mind, like with horses and stables and stuff like that. And yeah, but when I, when I searched ranch, it was like kind of mid-century style homes which was really weird I don't know I don't really know what was going on there but anyway I hope you enjoy of course this house will be up for download as usual and I have another house being built currently and I, I'm loving it I think I saw a picture on Pinterest and I really liked it I liked how it looked I won't say any more you'll be seeing it next week but I was really happy with it I, I'm still in the bit in the process of building it but I'm very happy with how it turned out and I think it looks really cool. It's not very different from what I normally do. It's obviously kind of similar, but I just, something about it is just really cool. And I really like it. I'm very happy with it. But uh, yeah, this house, I struggled taking screenshots, similar to my summer camp video, the 11 days of summer. When taking screenshots for that, the summer camp, it was really difficult because there's so much going on in the lot. It's not like a speed build where it's like just a house you're seeing, you're seeing so much. And you want to include as much as you can because the main focus is the entire lot rather than one particular building or, you know, thing in the screenshot. And it can sometimes look very messy and cluttered. And yeah, I struggle with that in this. There's not too much going on. There's the house, then a little barn on the left, which I will build soon. And then obviously the little fenced in kind of, not like a stable, but whatever you call it, like a little pen for your horses, whatever. Then there's that as well and I struggled to get a screenshot. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with how it turned out and um, yeah, it it's, looks cool but I'm very happy with the interior and how it's turned out. I think my kitchens have been getting a lot more unique. I know they're very similar in the objects that I use and sometimes the colours but I don't know. I think I'm kind of trying to do more interesting things whether it be like I said colours and things like that but I'm really happy with how they're turning out and just the way that they're looking. I just know. I just think I'm doing good. I've been doing a lot of building in Sims 4 and that in itself kind of like it makes you try new things because you don't have as much freedom I think as in Sims 3 but then in some ways you do but in a sense of like coloring items you need to kind of pick and choose your furniture and stuff like that like you can be very limited to what you can use so that's tough but I you know I've been kind of trying out new things, new ideas, and yeah, really exciting. In this, I use that little saloon door going into the living room. 
never use it because it doesn't fit into a normal home like you know like a regular family home doesn't really fit into it and it's really cool and I literally I love it so much I think it's amazing and this is like the perfect opportunity to use it so you'll probably never see it again in any other house I build but enjoy it because I think it looks really good and it fits in it doesn't look out of place which I think is what I'm trying to say is that it, it just fits into the house and I think it looks really good and I love it I also had a rug in the living room that was in my head the kind of patterns you see in like a ranch style home in like a home like this and I'm really happy with it it is custom content I believe hmm I'm trying to think where it could be from maybe Marta Marta Sims 3 book is that the name maybe might be from there if not somewhere on Tumblr for sure because that's kind of where I'm sticking to custom content because it's just easier to find things there like Emily CC finds amazing go there for your rugs they have everything and some of things are not available some things the links are deleted and stuff but you find so much it's amazing go there and look but something that's exciting I well okay before I talk about that I had a thousand subscribers I don't know what how I haven't mentioned this already in this voiceover you probably think I've forgotten about it no I have not but I hit a thousand subscribers and I want to thank you very very much of course a thousand subscribers is like a milestone that I genuinely never ever thought I would get to because to me it's like so far away from when I, you know from zero but I'm at it now I hit it I'm past it and it's like crazy like genuinely I said it on Twitter I said a massive thank you to everybody you know if you've subscribed and just for watching my videos and it's been crazy since Christmas since Christmas Eve Christmas Day we have gained like 900 subscribers which is insane to even think about like we're like 1030 now I think so you know we're getting past it which is like crazy again but I don't I'm not gonna be saying oh thank you for 1.1k thank you for 1.2k I'm gonna just try and you know say it sometimes but I don't want to be kind of constantly saying thank you again and again and again like I have been basically just I've been excited to hit a thousand so I've been kind of thanking you a lot but I'm gonna kind of slow down a little bit but again I still really appreciate it massively and just know that I love and appreciate each and every one of you and I will keep making videos even if they're inconsistent but I'm really enjoying it so far um so yeah thank you for all the love and support comments and everything I really appreciate it. I read out a comment. I read out a comment. I read a comment the other day. I need to try and like find it. Oh my god. It was the sweetest comment I've ever read. Basically, let me... I need to find it. I can't remember when... I, okay, here we go. I'm gonna read out the comment. I don't know the name. I'm sorry. The name is literally blocked out of the screenshot that I took. But the comment says, I have to go to work in about 20 minutes, but I've been sitting here downloading your houses like a mad woman. They are so beautiful. Thank you for all the hard work you put into these. I'm certainly... Wait, I'm certain I really enjoy them. And so will the Sims who get to live in them. I think you may even give me some inspiration to improve my own mediocre build skills. Yours is the first YouTube channel I've ever subscribed to. That's how impressed I am. Keep on simming and thank you. Wait, thanks so much for the lovely houses. Oh my God. Thank you. I don't have the name. It begins with K. I can see the profile picture. That It begins with K. But thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When I read that, I was shocked. I took a screenshot of it because I couldn't leave it on YouTube. You know, it just it was one of those comments that really would, you know, it sticks with you, I guess. Like so many comments. There's so many amazing comments that are like, oh, I love your builds. I think I've subscribed, things like that. And obviously I appreciate that. Like, like crazy like absolutely crazy but comments like that that are you know a big paragraph and yeah oh my god like when I read that it was like a couple of weeks ago now but oh my god thank you so much if you commented that I really appreciate it and it genuinely means so much to me because it's the kind of thing that I think it's like imposter syndrome where like you don't feel like you deserve it you deserve the what you've got and people say it's very common with making youtube videos and things like that things basically on social media where like say i build a house and people are like oh my god i love it i love it i'm like are they really saying that about my house or like do like really is it really that good i'm constantly like yeah no it's not that good they're just lying they're just making me feel better even if that is the case 
I still appreciate it. So just know that I do. I really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for a thousand. Enough rambling. The next thing I wanted to talk about that, you know, I thought of a thousand subscribers a minute ago that kind of just took over my mind. But what I wanted to talk about originally was that I, like, not that I want to do a create a world series. I've started creating a world in the, you know, create a world tool for The Sims 3, which is terrible to use. I hate it. If you, like, are trying to download it and you really want to use it and you can't, it's not working for you, don't feel too bad because it's not really that great. It's fun and when you have it working, it's good, but it can crash randomly. It's just really glitchy to use all of the time. But I want to really like try and build a world. Um, I saw Plumbob95 building like their create a world series and the world is stunning. I'm not going to like do an exact copy of that, obviously. I want to do my own thing, have my own ideas, but it is so difficult to number one, figure out where everything's going to go how the road routing is going to work. I started building a world and it just turned into like Sunset Valley. Like literally, it is so like similar to Sunset Valley. But I don't know. But what I want to do is like make like a mood board for the vibes of it and for the buildings and stuff like that so that I can get to building. But I would never do a YouTube series on it because I would not trust the like the app, the create a world tool, whatever, to actually work when I'm recording it barely works when I have nothing else going on in the background and just have that app open so I wouldn't trust it when I'm like also recording but maybe afterwards when I'm finished the build and I'm kind of happy with it I can like do a world overview and then start furnishing it not furnishing it like building houses and lots for it maybe if not I might just do it all off camera have it as my own little project and then maybe show it off to you. If by any chance you never ever see a world review in the next months, whatever, just just probably assume that I forgot about it or have given up or all of the above, whatever, because I probably will give up eventually. But I just want to give it a good go and try something different and it could be kind of cool. Now, on my pets little mini let's play, that has not stopped. I'm still going to be doing that. I have not had a chance to sit down and record a video. I really want to. I really want to get back into it because I, I'm like missing it so much. Missing The Sims and just the actual gameplay. Because part two, we, you, we I found out loads of things that I didn't know that were in the Pets expansion pack already. And it was really exciting to explore that. Like the whole competition thing. Never ever seen that before. And it was amazing. And I absolutely loved it. Like, I feel like, sorry, I'm just moving on my chair and it's extremely squeaky, but I feel like a lot of the time with the pets, let's play, um, wait, I was going to say something. Oh yeah. I can just kind of ramble on a lot for so long. Like my recording, the footage is like an hour and I cut it down to like 20 minutes because 40 minutes is just me rambling, pausing, coughing, sneezing, whatever that like there's actually like only 20 minutes worth of footage there which is great absolutely amazing but no um it's I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying it and I really want to get back into it it's just it takes a long time to edit it and that in itself really ruins my like motivation to get back into it but we'll see see how things go I've got time but it's just a matter of motivation as well not just time but whatever anyway what else is there to talk about? I feel like I haven't done a voiceover in so long that I should have like so much. Like I should be here talking for like hours about everything that's been going on, but I don't really know what. <gasps> Barbie and Oppenheimer in the cinema. I really want to see both of them. I like, okay, I saw this TikTok and it was like, oh, I love history. So I loved the Oppenheimer movie. Now, the thing is, I hate history with my whole heart. I have no interest in it at all. If you love it, good for you. But I hate it and I like hate it, basically. That's basically my whole point. And to me, hearing that somebody who loves history loved the movie, be you know, because they love history, kind of makes me not want to watch it. However, the cast is like so good. I feel like I have to watch it because it's so good. I don't know. I I'll see. Maybe I'll wait till it's on like some dodgy website and watch it thing is it's probably I probably shouldn't say that on YouTube but basically yeah I'm gonna wait till I can do that and what else is there Barbie I really want to see Barbie and that looks really good 
um, and people are really enjoying it. You know, not only people who love history are watching it and enjoying it, everybody is enjoying it. So that's a good sign, anyway. Very good to hear. And, um, yeah, I'm, you know, I really want to see it. It's like both of them are out and people are obviously seeing, they're like, which one are you going to see first? If you have seen them, any, either of them, what did you think about it? Don't give spoilers, but like, do you like it? Do you not? Also, if you watched both of them, what order did you watch them in? That is an important question because I think it's really cool to see like people's thoughts on it. Like, oh, I watched Oppenheimer first for that light heart. No, I watched Barbie first for that serious movie and then Oppenheimer after for that like, you know, lighthearted fun and like stupid things like that. It's so funny. I love it. But yeah, we are slowly coming up to the end of the voiceover. We've got two minutes left, but I don't want to kind of start another story and then have to rush at the end of it and then not actually get to finish the story. But if you enjoyed this speed build, it's very quick. I didn't really talk much about it because I had so much else to talk about. Then don't forget to subscribe, you know, if you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, use it for your little horsey sims. You're not to say horse girls. No, but maybe if you have horse girls, use it for them. But no, you're like, just use it for your sims. I could use this for, oh my God, I don't know their names. I was gonna, like, we got Blossom, but what's the other name of my sim? I don't remember. We'll use it for them in little mini pets. Let's play. That could be really cool. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next week for another speed build, hopefully. I have another one basically finished that I just need to, you know, do the final touches on it and I'll be done. So, yeah, I hope to see you then. Um, Like I said, subscribe. House is up for download if you would like to download it. Would you guys like to see community lots? I never build them because they're not, they're not what I'm used to. But if I got like rabbit hole rugs and just built a whole community lot, I feel like it could be so cool. Let me know on that. It's something I, it's interesting. I don't know if I'll ever do it, but it's something to think about because I have thought about it a lot. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day or night. Um, Follow my socials, Instagram, so you can see screenshots of the houses and see if you want to download them or not and see like layouts. Um, Discord. I'm not really on Discord, but you can go there if you want. There's other people. There's people still joining. I checked the other day. And there's people still joining it so you can obviously chat there with other people share screenshots because i'm still active i just don't really use it that much and then twitter which i'm more active on just for general bits and bobs but anyway have a good rest of your day or night like i said already enjoy the screenshots for this house and yeah i will see you all in my next speed build or next video i don't know what it's going to be yet but enough rambling by me goodbye <laughs>